Alright, welcome back to Ido Describe Gaming. I'm your host, Matt, playing some Night Seal Republic. So, we just landed on Korriban, which is the home of a Sith Academy. I'm drinking coffee right now. Anyway, so let's uh, see what we can do here at the Sith Academy. Maybe we can find the star map somewhere in there. There's a Zerka Corporation thing here. Oh, let's talk to Jolie. Got something on your mind, do you? Uh, you never did exactly say why you decided to come with me. No, I never did, did I? Are you always going to be this elusive? Elusive? Me elusive? <laughs> Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Andorin Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashyyyk. Time to go. Time to move on. Move on to where? To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. No, really. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? I guess not. There. Now, was that so hard? An old man has to be allowed some petty eccentricities. Nice to see you agree for once. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. You know what my destiny is? Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before you. But the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But... ah! I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. No, tell me more of what you see. Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that can be all bad. Nomi? Who's Nomi? Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine. Fine, lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. So you're along as some kind of observer? Nonsense. If I ever refused to help you when you asked, how confused can one person be anyway? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! Hmm. So he had a couple of adventures, did he? Alright, let's talk to the Zerka rep and see what he says here. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? What does Zerka do on Korriban? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such, but we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Now, yeah, see what you have to offer. You certainly can. Alrighty. Exar Kuhn's battle suit. Dang. Um, I'm gonna keep my robes though. Krath heavy armor. I wonder if I can use force with these. You know what? I'll buy X Raccoon's battle suit and see if I actually can use it. Uh, I have tons of credits by this point. 
So let's see, can I still use the force with Exar Kun's battle suit? Yes, I can. Sweet! Alright, well, can I buy some other stuff that you can use the force in? Yes. Alright. Uh, craft holy battle suits. Hmm. Yeah, let's buy some. All right, who should I put in it? Um, Juhani, can you wear craft battle armor? No, you cannot. What about Jolie? Negative. Can I? I can. And I can still use the force in it. I like Exar Kun's suit better. I mean, it is Exar Kun's battle suit. You know, probably one of the most powerful dark Jedi of all time. I cannot go in there. Okay. When one of the Sith thinks you're ready for the Academy, he gives you a medallion. I wish I had one of those. That's Grey Delisle. That is awesome. I thought I heard her voice in a couple of other characters. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely her. Awesome voice actress. Uh, let's see, Azula from Avatar, the evil babysitter from Fairly Odd Parents. I think it was her. Yeah, just so many different characters. Ooh, there's a roadie in here named Lurza Kesh. Let's see what he says. You there, human. You're the one flying the Ebonhawk now. I saw you disembarking earlier. Yeah, the Ebonhawk's my ship. Is that so? Well, you can tell Davik many people are spitting plasma over this. We've been waiting for this shipment for a month now. I suppose we should be grateful if the shipment survived terrorists at all, though, right? Anyway, hand it over and let's finish this. Hand what over? Wait a minute. Don't you work for Davik? Just how is it you happen to be flying the Ebonhawk, anyway? Uh, what, what business is it of yours? The Ebonhawk is mine now. Fair enough. To be honest, I don't really care what happened to Davik or how you got the ship. I'm interested in something else. We had arranged for several kilograms of spice to be shipped to us here aboard the Ebonhawk. Perhaps Davik left it on board. I suspect if it is, it would be in the container we gave him. Locked and requiring a code. Might you have seen such a thing, human? I may have. How much is it worth to you? A thousand credits and perhaps more. What if I refuse? Uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll take a look for it. The code on the container is red 47. All right. Well, I don't really have much use for spice. Um, so for those who aren't familiar with Star Wars, uh, it's a drug, pretty much. It's a stimulant, I believe. Um, and it's very sought after. Um, I think Han Solo used to smuggle it. But whatever, I'm not a smuggler and it's probably illegal and I'm ready to be rid of it, and I may need to do a couple shady business deals in order to get rid of it, but whatever. I, I don't want it. Oh. The ramp to the Ebonhawk is around here. Oh, someone came up to me. Let's see. A human. Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? Short fellow, bald, I've been looking. Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. Davin? Davin Cultures? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Bindo? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old tug. I thought you were dead, old man. I crashed somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just bet. Damn, old man. You look exactly the same as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. You're too kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. Uh, care to introduce your friend? What are you, deaf? His name's Davin. Old friend from my wanderer days. By the by, Davin, I really should be running off. Of course, old man. Oh, w wait. I if you've been traveling in this sector, I suppose you heard about Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Manan for murder. That's preposterous. I know. Nalora is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunray would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. We could check into it when we're on Manan, and it's on the way. I'd appreciate that. Sunry's an old friend. I'd hate to see him hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Give my regards to Alora if you see her. I will. 
Be safe, old friend. Hmm, interesting. Murder case on Manan. So I'm not going to go there yet. I'm going to solve this issue at Korriban with the star map. Uh, Manan's the only other planet that we haven't been to yet. Uh, so we'll do that after this. What's this re receptionist here? Good to see you again. Is there anything you need? Oh, no, I'm good. I bought some good armor. Oh, yeah, the spice. Oh, I'm so out of it right now. <laughs> Haven't had enough coffee. I may make myself another cup after this video. Huh, there's a crew member on a freighter here. Let's see. I'm just here on one of Zerka's transports. I don't have no business with you. Okay, I don't care then. Yeah, lightsabers. Vroom. I like lightsabers. All right, let's get into the hawk now. Okay, um, spice, 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 spice. All right, this is the compartment. Enter access code. All right, I got the spice. All right, well, let's just get rid of it. I don't want it. All right, I'm actually gonna switch my team out. So I'm gonna get mission. Oh, that's right, Bastil is not allowed to hang out down here. And Karth. Let's see if I can equip them with any of the heavy battle armor. Karth. Yeah, I can give him the heavy armor. Let's see, Mission can't get the heavy armor, but let's see. Uh -huh. can, and Karth can still use the force. Excellent. Okay. What? I'll have to see if there's anyone else who can take that heavy armor. Maybe Candorous, I don't know. But either way, we got some heavy armored Jedi now, which is awesome. All right, let's give the spice to this guy. I don't know if it gives me dark side points or not, but I'm light side ma maxed out, so any uh, dark side points won't really be worth anything. All right, I have the spice. So you do. That does indeed look like the amount Davik promised. Very well, a thousand credits is yours. Uh, all right, fair enough. Allow me to take the spice off your hands. My employers will be most pleased. Might you be interested in earning more credits? No, not really. It is your decision. All right, well, I didn't get light or dark points for that, so good enough for me. All right, uh, I'm in some kind of cantina now. Let's see if there's anyone I can talk to. There's a guy here. Greetings, sentient. Are you willing to engage in a hand of Pazak? Oh, no, I don't care about Pazak. All right. Can I do swoop here, or is that just on Tatooine? Greetings, Sentient. You're the owner of Ebonhawk, yes? Or its latest owner. I'm honored to meet you. I'm Mika Dorn, manager of this establishment. Is there something you're needing? The owner of the Ebonhawk is always welcome in the Dresde Cantina. You know something about the Ebonhawk? Only what I hear from rumors. The Hawk has been a frequent visitor to Korriban in the past, though often with a different owner. In all fairness, I should tell you many of the past owners were suspected of being smugglers, slavers, and pirates. It was even whispered somewhere for the exchange. But I always found the Hawk's owners to be excellent citizens of fine character, the kind of people I prefer to do business with, much better than the Sith. All right, anything going on here? See, the canteen has been provided by Zerka, dress days run by the Sith, da 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 what do you know about the Sith Academy? The Sith built their academy and trained students. Many go to train there, though I don't know why. Most are not permitted to train, and many die in their attempt to be admitted. Many of their students, and sometimes the Sith, come to my cantina, look around, and you'll see them. Um, all right, I guess nothing to do with swoops here. Dang, I want to do some swooping, get some money. I wonder if you can swoop on Manan. Alright, looks like there's no one else here, so let's head for the academy. Ok. 
Okay. So, I think I mentioned last time, um, Korriban is a desolate world, kind of like Tatooine, but it's way more mountainous. Lots of canyons and mountains and valleys. Uh, it's not real flat and sandy like uh, Tatooine. It's very rocky. There's a couple of droids around here. All right, so the academy, it looks just like a hey, stone. Cop, Oop. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice and the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them. It's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There are, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. Settle down, both of you. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You guys are ridiculous. So the Sith Academy, um, the outside of it is just a stone wall, and there's statues of just figures holding lightsabers or... Uh, people in meditation. So, all right. There's. It looks like there's a couple of prospective Sith students waiting outside the door. Three of them. They all look pretty worn out. And then there's a Sith officer named Mekel here. So let, let's talk to Mekel and see what the deal is with these guys. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Are you one of the Sith from the Academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. Can I ask you some questions? No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself, and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. All right, let's talk to the students. There's two humans and an aqualish here. I have to stand at attention. Please don't distract me, whoever you are. What are you doing? I'm trying to prove my worth to enter the Sith Academy here. We were told that if we stood here long enough, we'd be worthy. We've been here for so many days. I'm so hungry. Some of us have died, but I must be strong. I must. I'll keep standing. Here, I have a bit of food. No, please, put it away. I can't accept any, Mekel said. He's the Sith over there watching us. I must be strong. Mekel will find me worthy soon, I hope. Poor guy. You'll get your turn soon enough, fool. And when you do... I will be there, laughing as you collapse from heat exhaustion and Meikle's beatings. Let's see what the last guy says. Please, don't hurt me. I am too weak with hunger. Poor guy. Alright. Oh, looks like one guy's dead. There's a dead Twi'lek on the ground. Dang. Alright, let's talk to Meikle and sort this out. Is there something specific you wanted? Are you Meekel? And what if I am? You have to do something about those men. They're dying. That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banther, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. So this isn't a real test for them. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. What a jerk! Let's talk to these guys and let them know they're being set up. You were talking to Mikkel, I saw you. Where did he go? Did he tell you I was worthy? 
Miko is tricking you. He'll never let you into the academy. You're wrong. I must wait here to be worthy. But I... Go now and tempt me no more. Aw, can I do more? No. Let's see. Yeah, there's no convincing these guys. Miko's tricking you. No. Oh, dang. Oh, one guy died. Dang. I can't save him. Alright, let's talk to this guard and get into the academy. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. How do I become a Sith, then? You must be admitted to the academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. All right, so I need to talk to Yuthura to get into the academy. There's some crates here that I can take stuff from. Okay. I think that's her. Yeah, the Twi'lek in the back. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good for I have little patience. Why? Uh, so you know what I am. You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all. Willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Can I ask you some questions? I am sure there are plenty of others who would answer your questions. I am quite busy. So if there's nothing else... Who are you? Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yuthura Ban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? Yes, that's exactly why I'm, why I'm here. Let me join you. Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Yes, I'm a fallen Jedi, if you must know. A Padawan, perhaps? Though it makes little difference. I sense enough raw power within you to... Well, we shall see. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? I'm gonna lie. Yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. I see. Somehow, however, I am unconvinced. No, my friend. I'll not be the one to bring you into our academy. If one of the other Sith accept you and give you a medallion, then perhaps. But otherwise, not today. Run along now. Hmm, I need to find a medallion from another Sith. wonder if there's a way to buy one, or... Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna walk around and see if there's anything I can do to acquire one. Oop, there's a couple of Sith around here. Let's see. Hey, what's this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. Ever notice how the Sith always act tough when they're in groups? Nothing but scum, if you ask me. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. I don't want to pick a fight here. But we do. Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to be reasonable, but if you keep pushing me, you'll regret it. Kipuna! I hate whining. Let's shut them up. Alright, let's fight these Sith. Ugh, they're tossing me around with force energy. These guys are tougher than I thought. Alright, there goes one. There's three left. Dang, they're really going after us. Just die already. Let's go! 
Alright, we killed another one. There's two left. They're outnumbered now. That should help. Oh, there's one left. Their leader. Alright, he's almost down. There he goes. Alright, well, let's uh, loot their remains. They got accepted to the academy, so one of them should have a medallion on them. There it is. Got my medallion. Alright, let's do some healing. I have a good amount of force power now. It's awesome. Alright. Well, let's give this to Euthura. I imagine killing someone who's already been accepted the, to the academy is a good... Uh, indicator of my power, so yeah. You again? What do you wish now? I have the medallion. So one of the others accepted you, even after I did not. If you can call hmm, it that. You're lucky, human, for I'm in a forgiving mood. I will take you to the academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question: these companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. They're slaves, don't worry about them. I see. Fair enough. So long as they do not disturb your training or cause any trouble. Are you ready to go to the Academy, then? Yeah, let's do it. Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Yay, I'm going to the Sith School. All right, Greetings, so, oh. prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? So this guy, this master, he's bald, or I mean, not bald, he has a shaved head, shaved as a hairdo, anyway, and he's got all these, uh, like, geometric tattoos all over his head. Um, so what preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I'm going to play along a little bit for this. So I'm going to say uh, the Sith are powerful, a force to be reckoned with. A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Um, yeah, I'm ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. 
As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. So if you follow the dark side and you go down the dark path in this game, the quests are way more enjoyable here because it's like you're learning how to be a Sith. And uh, I'll spoil the dark side for this section since I'm not doing it. Uh, you can actually turn on the masters, declare yourself more powerful than them, fight them to the death, and you're like the new leader of the academy. It's pretty sweet. But uh, as light side, it's, it's a little bit different as you guys will see. It's not bad. It's just different. All right, powers. What power does it want me to to do? Advanced throw lightsaber. Yeah, why not? You can attack up to three targets with a single lightsaber throw. Wow. Yeah, I'm keeping that. All right, let's accept. Sweet. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it for this. I'm gonna check my footlocker. I'm at my bunk. Uh, I'll explain how this academy is laid out. Um, in the next video, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Do a little save. Alright, see you guys.